So to, to make my move to Leicester, actually from Hull, you missed Hull out, but... Um, you know what, I was waiting for you to see if you remembered, because <laughs> you and Andrew Robertson, I was gonna, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy HBL The Source, Harry Pinero. Yes, my peoples, it's Chunks. And today, we are joined by Harry Maguire. This is Pavement for the Pitch. How are you today, brother? Yeah, good. How are you? I'm great, I'm great. Good, so let's, let's get straight into it. Sheffield born. What was your journey into football from a young age? Well, my journey started playing football on the back garden. Uh, my Tip two brothers. Um, kicking lumps out of each other. Um, <laughs> Digging up the turf, my mum moaning, my dad encouraging it. Yeah. Uh, we're a big football family. We, we've watched football growing up, watching football, supporting football. But yeah, man, I always believe my, my journey started playing with my brothers in the garden and um, kicked on from there. Was you one of the uh, players that you was on the street all the time when your mum's telling you to come in and you're just addicted to football from young? Yeah, I think I think that's the the difference in the generation probably now. Yeah. Um, probably you, you can say the same. that we, he was always out on the streets playing football, yeah. um, whether it was football or other sports. It, you was always on the streets. You, you had to get dragged in by by your parents, and that was the same by me. Um, me and my older brother, especially, um, we played a lot of time together. Yeah, for sure. So, how old were you when you started to get a bit more serious in terms of like getting into a first team, or like how yeah, how old were you when you got into a first team and you started playing football? Yeah, so. Um, the first team, I was probably about eight years old when I went to, to Brumsmere um, and then I joined Barnsley when I was nine and then at about 11 I went to Sheffield United and then, then obviously broke, broke in when I was, I think I was 17 years old, so. Why is my what was I like doing that? at 17? What were you doing at 17? I definitely was trying to get my UCAS sorted. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't doing no football at all. But at 17, that's such a big thing. I mean, being from Sheffield and actually playing for your team. What was that like for you and your family? Yeah, it was massive because when you're growing up and you always want to be a footballer, you, you, you believe that you can get there, but you still feel you're always far away. So it's strange because one day I was training uh, when the under 18s and the next day I was on the bench for the first team and then all of a sudden you come on and um, no, it's a dream come true to, to make that first competitive start. It gives you the belief that you can have a career in football. That's dope. Then you went and done a madness and moved over to Leicester <laughs> and that's when you just, I feel like you signified your name in the Premier League and as a player. What was you thinking at the time when, you know, Premier League champions, what was your thoughts in terms of what you was going to do with yourself in the future? Yeah, obviously Leicester was a great move for me. Yeah. Um, a wonderful club, ran by great people. Yeah. Um, so to, to make my move to Leicester, actually from Hull, you missed Hull out, but... Um, you know what, I was waiting for you to see if you remembered, because <laughs> yeah. you and Andrew Robertson, I was going to, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I was waiting for you, he's, he's smart, he's Yeah, up. so, no, I had a great time at Hull and then obviously got the move to Leicester and... Yeah. I made my England debut while I was at Leicester, so no, it was a it was a great move for me. I, I love the I love the club, I love the place, and yeah, from then on, uh, um, I really kicked on and obviously got the move to Manchester United. Well, that must have been when you when you got that call in terms of yeah Manchester United interested and ended up signing with the team. How how was that feeling? That must have been a crazy. Oh, obviously, feeling. it was an, an amazing feeling. As soon as as soon as I knew Manchester United was interested, my heart was set. My head was. <laughs> you didn't gone. waste no time, did you? <laughs> no, for sure. I I, I I wanted to join that club. I think it, it is a boy or dream of dream of mine mm. to to play at Old Trafford and to play at Wembley as my two home grounds. Now it's um, honestly it's, it's a dream come true. And then, and then, I feel like your, your career just keeps going higher and higher. Then England and being basically our main centre back. What is that like for you? Because the journey's just been beautiful. I feel like it's just gone the way it's supposed to. And now it's just, you're in your prime and you're playing for England. What's that like for you, man? Because not a lot of people can do that. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's a, first and foremost, it's a huge honour. Yeah. Um, I'm really proud, really privileged. Um, Playing for my country is something that I, I dreamt of so much when I was younger. Um, I'm sure every young boy's dream is to walk out and, mm. and sing the national anthem and, and play for the country. So for me to do it in a World Cup and reach a semi-final, mm. and we've got an exciting summer ahead of us for, for, for the Euros and fingers crossed. It's coming home. Harry Panera <laughs> said it. So I, I was asking, I've asked many players about this because um, it's very competitive when you're playing each other in the Premier League. But when you guys actually meet up um, to play for England, what's, what's the squad harmony like? No, it's been brilliant. I think you've got to give credit to, to the staff yeah. and especially the manager, Gareth, um, mm. the way that he's built the squad and mm. um, it doesn't matter whether you play for a, for a big club big club, or if you're in good form and you're in mm. good confidence, you get picked and you play and uh, you've got to give great credit to, to Gareth for that. So off, Sh off the pitch, the you know what, off the pitch, I want to know 
what interests you? What do you like to do? Like, what other sports or hobbies with friends? What do you prefer to do? Yeah, obviously, I like to spend a lot of time with my family or uh, my friends, but my, my other sport's probably golf. I knew yeah, it! I knew it. I knew it's it. just a footballer sport, that, isn't it? Yeah, I do like a game of golf, yeah. I think, in your, in your free time. You don't get much free time, but it's nice to get out there and, and spend a few hours on the court. Who else, who else, who else plays on the match tonight, or just in general, you play with? Um, there's a few boys with England. Harry Kane's a really good golfer. No. Um, Manchester United, we have. Um, we don't actually have the biggest golfing squad at Manchester United. Scott McTominay plays, yeah. Dan James, Phil Jones. Um, but in some squads, you have 10, 15 yeah. players, but we don't have that actually big squad who play golf. But yeah, there's a lot of us in England. Cool. And, and in terms of music, what kind of music do you like? What kind of the music you're listening to now? Oh, what's Harry It's a good question. Like? But honestly, I, I don't really have a genre to, to, to pick from. I, I, I like a bit of everything. What well, it doesn't matter what genre it is if it's a good song, I like it. Yeah. Are you the one in the dressing room that's got the orcs? No, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> that one. You know, I think <laughs> it gets floated about, and we mix and match it at Manchester United at the moment. I think I think Fred's on it, but he gets a bit of stick. So I don't <laughs> think he's got it. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, look, Harry, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Um, your journey. Sorry, I missed out on her. I was just seeing if you was, if you remembered. <laughs> no but um, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe for more content coming your way. I've been HP at the source. He's been chunks. That's been my captain, Harry Maguire. Peace out. Take care, Thank guys. You. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Harry. Thank you, Harry. Yo, it's your boy HP at the source, Harry Panero. My bad. Yes. Yeah. No, it's today. You want to start? Free to go, there, guys. <laughs>